Hi everyone, Marty here with another HSMWorks quick tip. When finishing parts that have previously manufactured features, like casts or additive parts, probing cycles can shift and rotate the work coordinate system to more accurately match the part. However, there are some key components to successfully rotating the work coordinate system with a probing operation. In the setup, the X or Y axis should be aligned to the face I intend to probe. The work coordinate system origin needs to be located at the center of any possible rotation. Locating pins or bores in a fixture plate, like the one for this cast gearbox, will ensure that the part is rotating around that specific point. Now to actually adjust the work coordinate system, I'll add a probe operation. I'll select the flat face and change the probe type to Y single surface angle. Clearance and over travel will define how far from the part the probe enters and how far past the expected location it travels. These values post directly into the probe macro and translate to the total allowable error in part location before the machine sounds an alarm. Spacing will let me adjust the distance between the probe strike points so they accurately match the face to probe. This angle probing cycle can save me time over other alignment methods, like dial indicating. Do note that probing will only be as accurate as the tolerance stackup of the previous manufacturing method and the tolerance of your probe. And you will need to make sure your machine controller is capable of running the output code, like G68 coordinate rotation. For more in-depth probing learning content, I've linked to the Fusion 360 adoption videos below. So check that out in the description, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful, and share some of your favorite HSMWorks probing tips in the comments.